Well, uh, it's f funny you should mention the Cape Verdean album. That was the first record I heard of uh, Horace's. And uh, when I first heard Woody Shaw and Joe Henderson. Um, well, I think, it, as everyone knows, you know, Horace had that earthy kind of uh, thing that uh, touched you where you live, you know, that kind of bluesy earthiness, funkiness, as the, you know, as it was called. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he just, he just um, reached you at, at the core, you know. That being said, um, I personally feel that uh, um, it's the whole b funky bluesy thing has been, well, maybe if not overstated, but certainly stated enough. But what has been understated and underwritten about Horace is what a thinker he is. You know, he, he wasn't just a, a bebop play, piano player that played funky. Horace was a real imaginative and inventor, inventive improviser, uh, you know, and still is. And, and uh, uh, I think that that hasn't been uh, noted enough uh, in, in the reviews and critiques and things that I've read about Horace over the years. You know, a brilliant thinking improviser. And, uh, of course, uh, a huge influence over a whole generation of piano players. Wow. And his compositions, too. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, um, Horace's compositions have, um, have, have, have been the vehicles for, for many uh, so, great solos and recorded uh, widespread by all kinds of musicians, jazz and otherwise.